All right, YouTube, welcome back. Sorry about all the wind noise. It might be a little hard to hear me at times. It is pretty windy today. Uh, I'm doing part two of my little series I got going on. This is gonna be a 2016 Jeep Renegade. Get some pretty shots of the outside and then I'll start off on the front and work my way to the back. here to the engine bay. This particular model has the 2.4 liter multi-air four-cylinder. Uh, let me check on my paper here. I forgot my paper yesterday when I did the Kia Soul so I had to keep stopping the video and look up the specs and then start the video again. But uh, I got my paper with me today. Uh, this one is the 2.4 liter what they call the Tiger Shark. It has 180 horsepower, 175 foot-pounds of torque, which is much, much, much better than what the Soul had, which the Soul, I believe, was 130 horsepower and like 118 foot-pounds of torque, which is a far cry from what you get with this. Um, you also included in this one you get a nine-speed automatic transmission. Uh, I do not know if this is offered with a, a manual trans. I couldn't find any information on that. Um, the other engine that you can get, it is a 1.6 liter turbocharged motor. And uh, I've got the specs on it. I'll get the specs on it here in a minute. But, and like the Soul, um, I kind of a do-it-yourselfer and I do a lot of my own maintenance on my vehicles so the main thing I look for is space to work I mean this one's got a little bit less room to get your hands in if you ever need to make any repairs but there is ample space for you know working around things that engine's still pretty hot so I ain't gonna stick my hand too far down in there but all right Moving on. All right, the wind's picking up, so we're gonna go ahead and go into the inside. I'm gonna shut this back hatch real quick. We'll get to that in a minute. But uh, we're gonna go inside here. That way the wind ain't in our ears the whole time. Uh, starting on the door panel, this is a hard plastic compared to the soft plastic that you get with the Kia Soul. Um, you still get like an aluminum finish on the plastic parts here and then it's almost like a soft touch pleather type deal here and then your average gauges what this one has that the Kia Soul doesn't is auto for the passenger side as well if my camera will focus uh, and this one comes with the Beats audio sound system and uh, you know the little thing I showed you with the Kia yesterday with a little smiley face in the back hatch the Jeep has done a lot of the same little hidden aesthetics like right there you see a little Jeep grill on the side of the speaker grill and little touches like that are all over the place in this um, let's see Let me wiggle in here first thing I noticed when I sat down was you're more of an upright position in the Jeep. And some people may prefer that, some people may not. Now, this one is the limited package. And it's got a soft touch dashboard. It's got a leather wrapped steering wheel. Um, it's got a little bit more amenities than the base model um, sole that I got to do yesterday. They didn't have a higher level for me to compare this one to but you've got your basic buttons down here on the side this one now with the soul you could choose either comfort mode sport mode or normal mode this one I haven't been able to find the button if it does have it 
I don't actually think it offers it in this package. I believe you'd have to get the Trailhawk in order to do that. And with the Trailhawk, you'll also get selections for uh, four-wheel high, four-wheel low, and they've also got um, what they call the active drive, which is a low. It's basically four-wheel drive capability, and it's a real four-wheel drive capability. It's not like all-wheel drive. Um, you get downhill descent control. Um, you get a 20 to 1 crawl ratio on the Trailhawk only. Um, you can select what terrain you have to go over. And I believe that selection will be right there in that little open spot. Because I'm pretty sure your selections are right there. They didn't have a Trailhawk at the dealership I work with. Um, but the management system that they use for that, where you select, you get five different settings that you can use. Um, now, the four-wheel drive system that is available with this model, you get five settings, and they help basically stabilize your driving by coordinating various systems in the vehicle. Um, they range in throttle control, transmission shift points, traction control, um, stability control, and whenever you get the four-wheel drive model, the uh, Trailhawk edition, you can choose from either automatic, which it will automatically sense what terrain you're driving over, and it will adjust the settings for that. Um, or you can just set it for snow. They've got a setting for sand, mud, and rock as well. But I got the limited edition. I didn't get the uh, Trailhawk. But um, let's see. It does have best-in-class headroom. Um, if you can see me, I'm not that tall of a guy. I'm 5'10". But I've got plenty of room. I mean, hell, it goes up a good four inches whenever you get the panoramic sunroof option. But, um, let's see. All right, we got the, we're in it running now. And, uh, let's give you a good shot of the gauges there. If my phone will. There we go. But, uh. This thing's only got 26 miles, and the average where it says 12.9 miles to the gallon is wrong. It, uh, I was averaging around 30 on the way up here. Um, it just doesn't have enough miles on it yet to really tell you actual settings on that. Um, going back to the nice leather wrap steering wheel, it is heated as well. You've got your heated steering wheel settings that are right down here. You got heated seats, heating steering wheel. I don't know what the, I guess that's the piss off button. I don't know what that is. And then passenger heated seats. And then you've got basic control layouts here. Um, You've got separate settings for driver and passenger, or you can sync them together, like I'm alone, so I don't have anybody with me. Um, you do have a 12-volt cigarette lighter. I know it's a lot of new cars don't even have cigarette lighters in them anymore. You do have an aux port and a USB port built in right there. And you have the shifter. The shifter in this one is like a hard plastic and a soft plastic mix. It almost feels like leather, but I don't think it is. Um, that is actual leather, the boot. Um, you do have the his and her shift option here. You can bring it back to drive and then push it over to the left and you can manually shift through the gears that way. Um, the nine speed transmission, the little bit that I've got to drive this car, it, uh, it's not bad. It You've definitely got plenty of gears to find the right one for the situation that you need. 
but uh just me driving it across town and bringing it out here to the park where i do a lot of my videos is uh i mean i had absolutely no problem driving it it accelerates so much better than the soul the soul is a little bit sluggish but i didn't get the biggest engine package in it this one has the larger 2.4 and it really shines leaps and bounds acceleration wise beyond what the kia soul could do um moving on sorry my shaky hands right here you have an electronic parking brake you just pull it back and you can hear it actually set the brake in the back to disengage it you push it forward actually you have to put the brake on first to switch it and then it shuts it off and you have your traction control here and there's another option that goes right here but this one doesn't have it so I don't know what it does uh, right there you get your two cup holders and they got the little design the same design that the tail lights look like down there in the bottom um, and this one does have leather seats and I mean it's really really nice leather seats the center console here got a little bit of space not a whole lot but they do have a little cutout right here so you can run your phone jack and a uh, another auxiliary port uh, let's see did I miss anything here uh, this one still comes with the six and a half inch touchscreen you connect and I mean it's the same one that comes in every new Dodge I think I hit on it with the eco diesel that I did a few months ago I touched on it pretty pretty in depth but uh, I like it. It's it's really simple and everything. It's it's just really nice. And if you're a Metallica fan, the Beats audio system in this is amazing. Um, another little thing they put on here it says since 1941, and what a lot of people don't know is Jeep was actually founded in 1941 to make military vehicles for the Second World War. And um, it was a joint venture between Ford and Willys Jeep. And this model here commemorates the 75 year anniversary. So that's why they have the since 1941 symbol there. All right, I think I've pretty well covered everything in the front. I mean, you got your grab handle right there. Um, let's see if I can figure out how to open this. A pretty big uh, glove box. The glove box in this one isn't nowhere near as big as the one in the Kia Soul. The Kia Soul had a huge glove box. But all right, I think that covers the front. Now we're gonna go check out the back seat. All right, coming over to the back seat. When you open it, it's noticeably smaller right here compared to the uh, Kia Soul. The back door is a lot smaller, but you still get the Beats Audio with the Jeep emblem in the grill, and the door is still made out of the same hard plastic and the soft plastic right there. The back seats are still leather, and it's a really, really high quality leather. I really like that. Um, when I get in, I haven't got to sit in the back of this, so this will be an experience. Um, you actually do have map pockets. The Kia Soul did not have the map pockets. Um, and another thing this one has that the Kia Soul didn't is a actual inverter plug. Which I think that's open. Yeah, we'll go ahead and close that. pretty nice and there is even more headroom back here than there is in the front seat and it's just about as big it might be a little bit smaller than what the Kia Soul had but uh it's still really really nice and I don't know what they were thinking when they put an angled bottle holder but 
that's that's a little weird. Make sure you put the cap on your beer before you get back here. Um, another really cool thing that I seen or noticed is where the Kia Soul had a 60-40 split bench. This one has a 40-20-40, which means the center can fold down or either side or all of it, which I'll get to that here pretty soon. I'm going to go around and show you the back now. My favorite aspect about this is the taillights. I just think the taillights look really cool. And uh, within the taillights is another little Jeep grill. They got them little things hidden all over this thing. Um, you do have, this one does have a uh, high speed collision where it senses the vehicle in front of you and it will actually sound an alarm and apply the brakes. And this, they actually have the cover here, which you can take that off, which it's pretty easy to take it off. You just undo them little tabs there, and then you undo that right there, and the whole lid and everything will pop off. And just like everything else, this is brand new, so they've got all their goodies in the back. It's got that. They actually didn't even get to put the... Uh, the antenna on this one yet. I mean, I got this one with less than 20 miles on it. So it's, it's still got a lot of the, the goodies that ain't been played with yet. But you still have your, I believe this the subwoofer in the back for the Beats audio system. You have another um, cigarette outlet or USB point. Small little cubby there. Um, if you notice, there's this big bag in the back that is to hold the removable roof panels i don't know if you can see that up there because i'm blinded by the glare but i'll open the door here and i'll open these up and show you here in a minute but you have the removable roof which that's probably my next absolute favorite aspect but when you take them out According to what I've searched online, they weigh about 10 pounds, so they don't weigh a whole lot. And they actually, this is new, so it's going to be a pain in the ass. But, and they actually just fit right down in there. And you can move that out of the way, and you've got a really, really large, spacious area. And more stowage underneath it. I mean, look at that. You can put all kinds of stuff down in there. Oop, I'm having a hard time here. And if you pull that up, under here, you have a air pump, a gas filler, because these do not have a, uh, a fuel cap, so you have to have that little filler if you ever run out of gas. And then under this is your spare tire put all this stuff back down now and we'll zip this back up and the wind just picked up so I apologize uh, inside this little panel you've got your fuses Pause this for a minute and let this wind die down so we can continue. All right, I pulled the uh, cover out and I kind of laid it here. I don't think that wind's gonna die down, but um, I wanted to show y'all the benches. See, that's set up for 60/40 right now, but I believe there's a button over here somewhere. Maybe it's that one. I don't know yet. There's a button somewhere that uh, you can actually fold this section down. I ain't gonna fool with it too awful much, but you can fold that all the way forward and you have all the room. I mean, quite a bit of room. 
and uh, in comparison, you know, the hatch area was a lot smaller on the Kia Soul. It's a lot bigger on this one. So the back doors are smaller on this one, but the hatchback section is a lot bigger. But all right, on to them roof panels. I think I'm going to take them out and put them back in whenever I get to the dealer. All right, so it's so windy outside that uh, I decided I'm not going to actually take these out. I would rather just show you all how it works. Um, you take this and you pull it down or up, one or the other, but I can't get it to move because maybe I'm just retarded like that. But anyway, these do completely come out. And they also have a uh, manual open, or a power open, I'm sorry, a power open for the front and the back. So it will actually open them like they're a regular sunroof. So I might just do that and close it whenever I get closer to home. Uh, before I forget, this vehicle, its color... Is Colorado red it's not a metallic but I, st I still kind of like the paint on this one um, that is the base price 24,000 and um, if you get the limited edition and you get the tech package and all of that if my phone will focus there we go you'll be paying 31 190 so it's it's a good ten thousand dollars more than what you would be paying for the uh, Kia Soul, but honestly, I think this would really be a better route. Wow, my phone's having problems today. There we go. Um, the other thing I do like about this more than the Kia Soul is it's got a lot more ground clearance. Like, the Kia Soul really doesn't have much for ground clearance at all. Um, I was stuck doing it down on an asphalt parking lot. And this, I actually drove, I mean, I didn't drive over that, but I was still able to come up this, and you can't tell in the video, but that is still fairly steep. I mean, the Kia would have bottomed out two or three times pulling up on that. But, uh, alright, I think I'm gonna go, uh, take this bad boy back and, uh, do some editing so I can get this video to y'all. I like the wheels on this a lot more too. But um, if you like my reviews, uh, don't forget to push that like button. Feel free to subscribe and uh, comment, ask questions. I mean, if you have anything you want me to uh, review, any ideas or anything special, let me know and I'll do my best to get them posted and I got a pretty good working relationship with the local dealerships here, so they actually mentioned the possibility of me be getting to drive a Hellcat pretty soon. So I'm really looking forward to that. But uh, all right, guys, I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video, and I hope I can help you guys out with your next car purchase. And thank you, and have a blessed day.